Rubina Ali sings the words of her favorite song. It's the theme from the movie Slumdog Millionaire. She knows it well because she also starred in the Oscar winning movie and has been in the spotlight ever since. This movie went to the Oscars and I was called everywhere. We couldn't even imagine that we would go to America. We had heard so much about America before, what happens there and what kind of people are there. But the movie's soaring success has yet to lift her and her family out of the slums. Life is like what it used to be before, her father says. We don't have any big dreams of getting a fancy home, but if it's in our destiny, then we will surely get it. Not the same sentiment of the family of Rubina's co-star, Azruddin Mohammed Ismail, who lives in the slums across the street. How difficult is it living here? It's not nice here, not good, he says. Both families have been offered better housing by a foundation set up by the film's producers. But Azruddin's family says they won't move until they're offered a house fit for a star. The two actors' life stories are becoming as dramatic as the movie's plot. Azruddin's illegal hut was crushed by city bulldozers. It's since been rebuilt. And Rubina's father was targeted by a British tabloid that accused him of trying to sell his now famous daughter. Some even wrote that Rubina was being sold in front of her sister. None of it is true. Through every twist and turn, the media is constantly swarming. The truth is the families are getting sick and tired of people like me peering into their lives because they know that inevitably when we leave, nothing will change. But the child actors have the option of leaving, unlike millions of slum dwellers in Mumbai who live with trash and open sewage drains. Amidst all the turmoil, it's them Rubina is concerned about. I want to help everyone, she says. A dream much larger than just becoming a slumdog millionaire. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Mumbai.